Hey guys, so it's time here to take a little look here at the browser comparison between the Galaxy Trend S7560 smartphone over here on my left side and then my Galaxy S3 mini here uh, on my right side. So we'll be opening up Samsung's own browser here. And I'm just gonna close some stuff. I'm just gonna let it load up. Let's see. Okay, so I am on JSM Arena over here on both devices. Uh, the first thing, you just go up and down. You can see, no problem. You shouldn't really have an issue with that. Uh, let's try to zoom in. Already right here, I, I can feel a difference that it's, it's a little bit, or definitely that it feels better here on my Galaxy S3 mini. And you can also see in terms of re-rendering stuff, let's see here. There has to do some longer rendering, re-rendering when it's rendering uh, the page. Let's also see here if we can do a double tap. Also, when we are double tapping here, you can see that it has to render a little bit more. In terms of speed here, seems to be about the same, shouldn't really be any major thing. Of course, also with the display technology, you can see that the display here is actually better and more brighter here uh, on like the AMOLED display that you would get on the S3 mini versus probably some kind of LCD or TFT display here on my, um, my Galaxy Trend. I mean, you can see there when I have to double tap go in, have to render, re-render a little bit. Uh, let's also see here when we zoom in and let's just go up and down from this. Let's, let's start from the bottom and try to go up. So this, uh, on the S3 mini, we can go from the bottom to the top. Very, very simple. Here we have to do some more swipes. So, a little bit of a difference there as well. Let's see here what happens when we go back. White uh, though, it, the kind of display is very, very good. Okay, now we can definitely see a difference in terms of speed. When we are re-rendering, this one hasn't even loaded. Oh, wait a sec, maybe it has. But you can see that there is a big difference uh, that it's much better here uh, on the S3 Mini and it should because there is obviously a price difference there. Uh, also in terms of text clarity, let's see here if I can see. Of course when we are zoomed out here on both devices, I, I don't know the resolutions in my head, but it almost looks like it's a little bit more clear here on the S7560 phone here, Galaxy Trend. Uh, but of course you can't read the text, so you have to zoom in here on both devices to be able to pull that off. Let's try here to see if we can go up. Tap on that. Let's see here if we can go into reading mode when we are inside of an article. And you can see here both reading mode up here at the top. Let's see if they do have the same kind of speed. Okay, quicker here on the S3 mini, definitely. Very, very big difference there actually in, in terms of loading that up. So I think that's pretty interesting. Let's just also try to load up this image. And we can also see a difference there in terms of loading up. Let's see here if we can just go back. Some new kind of Asus pad phone, Infinity. It's pretty nice. Let's also try out the tab system here if it's smooth on both. Okay, slightly faster there uh, on the S3 mini. See if we can also close this tab. Uh, 
Of course, you also have an incognito mode here on both devices. So if you want to go private, you do have that mode. So you can just go and search for porn or do whatever you like. Uh, and no one's going to know that you are doing it. And then you can just close out of it, use like so. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see here also that both uh, both devices do have this desktop view if you do like that. I do like it myself. And uh, then also see here, it doesn't seem like we can change the brightness here inside of the browser. This one is also having like ICS, uh, not even Jelly Bean, but here in Jelly Bean, um, probably on my S, S3 mini, you can change the brightness uh, instantly there. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's also just go in and see here because I'm pretty sure it's having Jelly Bean. I like under 4.1. Yeah, under 4.1.2. Uh, while this one over here, uh, which doesn't even, it doesn't have these vibrations in the button over here, which is, I find that kind of annoying. Oh, wait a sec. The S3 mini also might have that problem. Or not maybe a problem, but it's a little bit annoying, I think. So if we go down here and go to about device, yeah, Android Open for Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, it's, it's a little bit boring to have that uh, because uh, there was a lot of, Optimizations in terms of software and everything uh, in the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update. But uh, just quickly look at here at that. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you want more comparison with these specific two devices, let me know about that and I'll see what I can do.